with the details. Joe? Yeah, Nigel Gabrielle inside one of the 16 hangars here at Lockheed Martin. Uh, you will find production to begin soon on the new F-16 fighter jet. What seems like a plain deal to some means a big deal for Josh Wallace. It takes a lot of work and effort out there. You can't come into this expecting a cushy job. For now, Josh Wallace just wants to graduate and get a job, hopefully making aircraft. A desire to work in the industry that uh, my grandfather instilled in me. Between hard work and what he did for Pratt & Whitney back in the day, I've always had an interest in aircraft. Josh gets to witness the cutting edge of aviation. This is a great day for South Carolina. Lockheed Martin in Greenville will produce the newest, most advanced F-16 fighter jets, complete with radar and computer system upgrades. For me personally, this is the uh, icing on the cake. The U.S. will sell the planes to Bahrain with deals in the works for Slovakia, Bulgaria and Morocco. It's going to make America safer. My goal is to deter war and the best way to deter war is have an overwhelming presence and allies that can project force. Today is an exciting moment in history. Sending signals to the flight controls. History made. Some even got a taste of the future. It strengthens our regional alliances. It means fewer American boots on the ground, more stability. A future hopeful of making stronger bonds, growing the workforce by as many as 400. Our students are already in a high demand, so, uh, but it allows us to open up the program. And getting Josh Wallace a job in aviation. For the schooling requirements and to get into this field, it's not bad, but to work for Lockheed Martin on the F-16s, that's all another story. Planes might have a little trouble with the wind out here, if you couldn't tell. But Lockheed Martin says they plan to produce one F-16 fighter jet per month. With growing demand, though, they, they say they can produce as many as four right here in Greenville. We're live here in Greenville. Joe Ripley, WYFF News 4.